just a good old boy. Hey y'all, uh, we are headed to go put two rolls of hay out. Um, I've got to go take some hay to my cows. I've got a section of this farm that uh, we took the cows off of because there's a tree on the fence. I hadn't had time to fix it yet, but they uh, it's kind of working out for, for the good too because then it, it's going to allow that section to get grow a little bit get some grass back in it and then I'll turn them in it here in a few days so it's kind of going to work out good that I've done and I actually the one of the reasons why I turned got them out of begin with was because three quarters of the fence around that section is electric and the power was off on the farm I was at and it was out for nearly nearly a week they were out of power I think four or no five days yeah, five days and um, some people up in that area was out over a week or a little over um, but uh, they were one of the fortunate ones that got the power back on which was good for me um, but I just decided not to turn them back in it yet because I've just been letting the grass grow but I'm going to take them some hay just to make sure that they're all right I don't want them to get hungry and try to tear out or nothing so we're going to take them a couple bales up here and I've got a couple bales of the fescue hay that was kind of greener and uh that i sliced and uh two what is it, two and a half inch slices out with all 17 so it's going to be about a two and a half inch slice on the hay um, i'm going to open the bales up and we're going to take a look and see what the hay looks like sliced inside the bale um, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it when i get there so y'all hang on these things off. <sighs> there. Let's set y'all there. How about that? Damn, that's got to be the two heaviest bales I've ever touched in my life. I knew they was heavy. Felt heavy on that tractor. Holy crap. Oh, these things are heavy. Get out of way, Susie. Oh. Let me get to that wrap off. I'm hoping all the bales ain't like this. These are green, so they should be heavy. But I'm hoping all the bales ain't like this this morning. If they are, I'm gonna have to get a, take the tractor. Here we go. Oh man, at least have two people at all times in the truck. Uh, 
All right, these things are wanting in here. Pull us apart. Get down in here. Side of the bale. Oh, hey. There you go. Just little short, fine pieces all the way through. On the inside, it's all cut up. Just a fine, real fine hay. I sliced. This was longer crop hay. It's in here. You can see how this fine sliced it is. It's like powder. Let's go open the other one up, see what it looks like. Get out of the way! Move! We'll see what this other one looks like. Take, take the wrap off of it. Hey! Get out of the way! Right here's probably the best example I've seen. And you can just see this stem right here has been cut on that end and that end. And uh, you can kind of look through the whole pile here and see obviously all of them's not gonna be cut exactly then as I was running a little bit faster on this side. See, there you go. I mean, it's sliced on this side on that wad and sliced on that side. And it's just real fine to make it easier for their digestive system in theory to break it down to come off a wood line I mean, it's just really really cut up and fine material and the density on these bales is just i mean they are you can't i don't even know if you can pull that apart oh like hey they're just so tight you can peel it away and it just falls see it just keeps falling apart as you peel it it's not really packed really in there tight too tight because it is loose in there and it's cut up really fine so we'll see how they do eating this stuff um they seem to be liking it help them digest it a little better that's pretty good hay it's fescue hay it was a little bit green which has only been baled for uh, two days so it uh it ain't had a chance to go through a mold or anything or nothing so they'll they should get some good protein and food source out of it. i mean you just see that divot i just pulled out right here looks like a cow's been eating here and i just reached and grabbed a few handfuls and just pull it pull it apart like that um but the biggest surprise to me which is, I guess it shouldn't even be a surprise. It's just the added density that by it being cut, how much more dense these bales are. 
um, even though I've already been bailing pretty tight. Um, now on the outside, you'll see it's long, and that's because on some of these, I guess I grabbed two of them, I pulled the outer knives, so that way you got that still that nice slick wall pretty look to the to the bales for the I like them to look that way they look prettier without the two knives but on the inside it's real fine cut but on the outside on the you can see it's still longer see it's not even cut over there but on the inner part it is which helped the bales look a lot nicer on the outer part because they when you slice them in a two and a half inch slice it's a real fine material and the bales don't look too pretty i mean they're it bales them good and the shape on them is good but they just look rough on the outside i don't like it that's just my preference so i pulled two of the two of the knives halfway through to try it one of those bales is cut on the ends all the way and the other one is not um and i kind of looked at it. i mean <laughs> they're having fun with that one um so they'll be happy get to eat them some hay and uh we'll see how it does i don't know i'm gonna run this here is kind of fescue i'm really wanting to see what the johnson grass does more so than than uh the fescue itself um because they already eat the fescue fine anyway so I really want to know what that is. A little bit of that's got broom sage in it from around the outside of the field. <laughs> Where we don't try to throw the fertilizer all the way up in through the woods. I don't like doing that because I wasted money. But uh, throw the balls in it and the ball bowl. Get down. But uh, yeah, we got these here, eh? There is a little bit light. They've been on a off of grass for a little while because like I said that fence has been down so about a week so they've gantened up some. I start bringing them more hay or turn them back in. That side over there, which just growed some over there in a the week, you can tell. It's really grown. Well, back a few days later, all the hay's gone. Nothing's left. It's a little bit scattered out on the ground because it didn't put it in a ring. But there is nothing left. It's all completely gone. Hey y'all. Um, just wanted to add a little bit to this video and some of the things I found. Um, in this video you can see they cleaned up the hay pretty good with all 17. Uh, I, after feeding a lot of different bales of hay i did some bermuda i did some fescue and stuff have not done the johnson grass test yet i'm going to do a full video like this on just that but this is mainly on just regular grass um sliced hay um from the different knife selections from 17 9 and 8 which is 9 and 8 are basically the same or none um so what i found after feeding several several bales is that all 17 is not ideal um you lose in hay rings you lose some through the bottom because it is so fine and they stomp it down and you lose a lot that way um and it seems like they also eat the eight to nine knives that's cut it like i think it's the four or five inch slices um better than they do the real two and a half inch fine slicing uh, I was kind of shocked by that uh, a little bit. Um, so if I had to say I learned anything out of all this, um, feeding for your best results in ring with chopping the hay or cutting it, um, it seems to feed better if you're just feeding the hay straight to the cows um, in the, that about that four and a half to five inch slice um kind of range than the two and a half uh if you're doing like tim r uh mixing feed hay into feed um that way or, or doing something with feed the two and a half inch slices is better um 
for that obviously because it's finer cut and that that would really be what i would more recommend using all the knives for um have not seen what it's going to do with johnson grass so that's kind of out there um but that's basically what i've seen so far and found but it does seem they do seem to eat it better when it is sliced somewhat um is it worth spending the extra money on the knife tray uh, versus the non-sliced? I haven't seen enough yet to say yes to that. Uh, I still think if it's good hay, they're eating it all anyway. Um, so I really haven't seen enough benefit um, out of the sliced versus non-sliced to, to me to say yeah for beef cattle this is it's something that's going to really highly benefit you um just for bird cows is what i'm talking about now if you're feeding calves and trying to put weight on them maybe there's a i could say yeah it would benefit greatly doing that um but it's still kind of out there it's something still haven't fed enough of it to really see enough of it to to justify it um, one, I didn't didn't slice really enough to get enough of feeding on all winter in one place uh, of that to see the difference between feeding all winter in a non-slice place. Um, next year, I'm planning on trying, if the tractor is okay with it, doing more sliced hay if it's for our cows um, in that eight to nine slice range and trying to do more of it, being I have it. Um, but I have not seen enough versus in both good hay conditions uh, to really say outright, oh yeah, it's better. I haven't seen that yet, um, but they do seem to eat it better. I will say that as far as waste and everything. Um, now, coming up, I am way deep in videos right now. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff that's been going on that y'all are going to see from some grading videos to um, storm cleanup videos, cutting up trees, making firewood, a lot of firewood, um, just different things. We are done with hay. Um, I'm done with it, thank God. Um, and that's the after the other video. That's it. I'm, there's no more hay videos um we are done i'll go over how the hay season went in the year-end video coming up for too long um and just there's several things going on bought another trailer um I did that did that the other day so stay tuned to that see what it is i ain't gonna tell you what it is <laughs> but it's something gonna be pretty cool i'm excited about it it's something for me um personally and I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm going to be doing some work to it, putting LED lights on it. It is a used trailer, um, some stuff there. So stay tuned for that. Um, going to be still got a review video I've got to do for the inline coming up. Um, I really want to do that video. There's some things that I really think they need to do, um, and there's some things that I want to show people on those balers that to explain it now that i've i'm we've had two of these things um some i talk about some similarities of what i think they need to change between the whole model base um and then some of the things going from a side delivery baler that we used to have i know y'all didn't see it on youtube um to the end lines and the benefits of it um i feel like I'm, now that i've worked on both quite a quite a bit and seeing the advantages and disadvantages i can go over that some too in that video um and talk about that because there's a lot of misconceptions about inlines being complicated and everything else um that i want to go over too um in general where it's, it's an older case version a heston version or um the mass version challenger agco uh ones um over all those so uh, stay tuned for that um, and then we're going to be working on equipment throughout the winter so stay tuned just because hay's over don't mean the excitement's over um, still got a lot of hay to haul too so stay tuned for that um, <laughs> believe it or not we still have hay out in the fields that we have got to get up um, it's just been ugh. anyway thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and we'll see you next time